SEC His win. record is six and three. His height is five foot six. His weight is 125 pounds. He trains with Aries Combat out of Cleveland, Ohio. Please make welcome Luke the Canine Chokin! And in the right corner, his record is seven wins, three losses. His height is five foot three, and his weight is 125. He trains at a cage fit in Opelika, Alabama. Please welcome Terrence Juice Jones! In this small crowd tonight, it seems like Terrence did happen to get a few fans in here. Yeah. He knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. <laughs> Big Cody Eason is the referee for tonight's uh, event or this fight tonight. So he'll be going over rules. And now he's clapped his hands to begin. Both fighters take the center of the cage and begin to settle in. Nice outside leg kick by Luke Chokin. Going back to that wrestling, a double leg, as Eric referred to earlier, said that Juice would probably do some sort of wrestling or that would be his fallback. Well, we're going to see how he, he can create a little bit of space and get off on the offense. I mean, he's giving up a lot of size and reach. It, it definitely looked like Luke was trying to establish that jab and, and, and turn this fight into a striking battle. Well, now Terrence going to side control now to north-south, reaching for that neck, trying to get a, a nice knee that he was able to deliver. Now back to the double leg. Back to a double leg, yeah, he's smothering him. You know, just, as I was saying earlier, you see how he's trying to keep his head above Luke's when they're on the cage, and that's so he can keep him two, on the ground. Luke two solid right hands. Uh, oh, oh, nice outside of the kick. able to stand up. That hurt. See so, yeah, Luke choking all the way from, from Ohio. You know, being from Ohio, I would imagine he did some wrestling growing up as well. You have to assume that, right? Man, another, he's another he's now as he stands up, he eats a right hand from Juice Jones. Yeah, Jones has taken advantage of uh, how far forward Luke is putting his lead leg. You know, Luke is the taller guy with a longer reach, but it seems like Juice Jones is managing to, to, to be the taller guy or have the better reach in this fight for some reason, being able to stay out of the... The thing that he's doing is he's going first. Terrence is going first. A lot of times when these guys are amateurs, it's you go, I go, you go, I go. But Terrence isn't giving Luke a chance. Luke to, now uh, is to trying go. to set that guillotine in, but he had to release it. Terrence now with a double leg now, or moving now to some uh, a toss. Yeah, not only is he going first, he's not afraid to stay in the mid range. You usually when somebody has a, uh, you know, a height and length disadvantage. Either you stay way away or right up on him, and Juice has no problem standing in the pocket. He's, he's doing an excellent job of closing that distance and making up for that reach at disadvantage. He's almost countering moving forward, which is which is not an easy thing to do. It's not. He can, he's not going to eat too many more of those calf no. kicks. I know no. that. No. Oh, Sneaky just missed uppercut. on that uppercut. Both. Both fighters now still being pretty aggressive. Juice catches the kick, goes in now for a single leg, now moving to a double, double leg. Yeah. Jones's wrestling is uh, on point tonight, that's for sure. And he knows it. And uh, I, think, I think he's going to be taking advantage of that this whole fight. There we go. Now taking him to the ground, taking choke to the ground. Couple of overhand punches in the guard. You know, it, it, it almost seems that Luke doesn't mind being on his back. He keeps threatening submissions, and those also give him a chance. Uh, has uh, Terrence is defending those submissions to get back to his feet. You know, every time Luke has been on his back, he's always immediately grabbed for that arm uh, to look for an arm bar with. He's looking uh, for some sort of offense from his back. But, uh, you know, Terrence is not huffing and puffing, and those takedowns are not easy things to get. No, they they. They, Both, they, so did you, <laughs> they didn't even bring my man a stool? Yeah, don't have a stool, so he's he's sitting on the leg of his coach. Uh, that's, that's his big brother or what? Oh, that'd be Christmas. <laughs> well, I, I, that's I, a good coach, man. <laughs> sacrificing that body for him, man. You do what you have to. That's, 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 right. Right corner. that's a friend, <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah, Here, yeah. take my knee. I got you. <laughs> oh, Man, we'll, we'll send Chris over there to find out what happened with the stool situation. Uh, but. You know what? I bet you they lift up that little... 
cloth hanging onto the cage. Yeah. It's probably sitting right there. Or well, the coach <laughs> probably sitting on it in yeah. between rounds. Yeah. I know you got to carry that and bring it yeah. in with you. <laughs> but, dang, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Round Here's number two of this fight <laughs> scheduled for three three-minute rounds. This title fight at the 125-pound weight well, division. We're going to see if Luke can figure this out now. now you know, I'm I mean, Luke, Luke has been getting taken down, and uh, let's see how he reacts to the instruction he received. Man, I'm looking at Terrence, and he's barely sweating. He's light on his feet, bouncing around, composed. I, I, I tell you what Terrence is doing, too. He's, he's kind of T-Rexing it, like on a glove touch. He's getting real close, keeping his arm tight to kind of maybe sneak that shot in. Terrence keeps he making a few feints to get at a double leg. Now he's shot in for it. Somewhat stuffed. We're gonna see Terrence has got to suck those legs to him to complete this we're takedown. We're going to see what kind of information he got in the corner and how he, uh, you know, applies it in this round. Well, you know, he's, he's trying to defend the takedown with his uppercuts now. Terrence ate two of them, was able to be successful on the third one, but... With four ounce gloves, it doesn't take much, so no, he needs no. to uh, get, be careful of that uppercut. Like, you get punched like that in the right spot, it's, uh, people tell you what happened to you afterward. Uh, you're asking if you won the fight is what <laughs> yeah, happened. <right. laughs> Terrence there trying to, there goes, to stack him, had to pull that arm out as they're scrambling. Luke, Luke is staying long on the ground, but seems to be kind of short when he's when he's throwing punches, but on the ground, he's using that length to his advantage. And it doesn't bother him to be on his back like, like we had addressed earlier. You know, he's using these submissions. He's threatening a Kimura right here. Even if he doesn't get it, he's going to use it to stand up, there to sweep go. him, stand up. He's up to his base, up to his knees. Man, Eric, you should do this for a living or something. You're really <laughs> good at knowing what fighters do. Got a little blood going from uh, Jones's nose. Hey, man, they're throwing here throwing, man. Yeah, this they, just a wrestling match. This is an exciting fight. Both fighters now. He looks exhausted. Luke both, looks yeah, exhausted. Luke, both of them. Both these guys. So, Jones has got to take some breaths, get it all the way down to the bottom of his belly, and explode again. Yeah, there, there's still a minute to go into this round, so we're not, we've still got a lot of time left. And, and, and Luke has got to insert himself if he can. Oh, nice double time. leg. He does that beautifully. He timed his right hand, ducked under it, and finished the takedown. Yeah. The problem is Juice has not been able to do a whole lot once he's got him on the ground in the guard it's, because it's Luke has stayed, yeah. Yeah, stayed real long in the submissions. Luke's length has given uh, he's wearing, Jones a lot of fits. He's wearing his own blood, so Terrence is doing something. Those, those hits don't feel good, I would imagine. Ter Terrence I trying to sneak up into – he keeps trying to push that leg down to get into half guard. Uh, Yo, know, Eric, I think we called it. He said he was timing the shots with the uppercut. Caught him on the nose, and that is a deep triangle. He was – Terrence now trying yeah, to get I out. I think but Jones he, is in trouble. He, he needs to go the other way. Yeah, I think Jones is in trouble on this. He's tightening I, it up by going that direction. He needs to bring his knee to he the is, elbow. He he's looks like he's, he's making it tighter right no, now. No, he is, he is throwing punches, though, and trying to fight to stay in this. Is Jones going to manage? He looks like he's getting it a little loose. Wow. Man, what an ending. How, how do you score? How do you score that? That is a hard round to score. Man, I want to know if his nose was bleeding before the round. I thought it, I thought nope. it, I thought it was Luke it, it, it happened. It happened when he caught one of those uppercuts coming in. Okay. Luke, Luke hit him square with that uppercut, and it bloodied his nose. Now Juice has got some blood on him. It did not seem to affect him much. Okay, so now you got look at, look at, you got to look at the corners. The, everyone's huffing and puffing. Right now, the most important thing for Jones's corner is to take that mouthpiece out. He's got to get as much air into his body as possible. Yeah, because it's not coming through his nose. No, it's not. <laughs> not with all that blood in no. there. No, no. And, and you know, nasal breathing is. This is the oldest oh. trick in the book. That is the oldest trick in the book. He did that. On yeah, he, he he dropped he dropped ice on the cage on the cage floor. Um, and now that's going to give him more time to rest. But when you do that. Is giving the other guy time to rest as well, and he's the fresher fighter, anyways. Do do they really do they really want Terrence completely completely fresh, giving the fact that he's continued to take Luke Choking down? Well, Luke Choking had him at oh. Jones in a lot him. of trouble. In he his was last in 10 trouble. Seconds. Absolutely. I do think it's 2-0 going into this round for Terrence. Uh, I think that Luke. Uh, should definitely be looking for the finish like he was in that second round and he winds up on his back again. I agree. I, I'd almost give him the position, you know, and, and Jones's pedigree in wrestling uh, isn't going to make him disciplined enough not to go to the ground. I, you know, I would try to keep it on the feet, 
but I don't think I would fight the takedown as much. I you know, if, if you're Luke, he's sure. yes, okay. yes, yes, he's been super close. I agree. He almost had that Kimura, swept him with the Kimura, almost had that triangle at the end. So I'm not exerting any more energy trying to defend these takedowns. If you're Terrence's corner, do you tell him to try to keep this round standing and, and see what happens? Man, you go out there and win, baby. Do yeah. what you do. I think the tide is about to turn on this fight. I could see Luke having a strong round here. So now yeah. Luke is the definitely the aggressor right now with some massive right hands. This is where you really learn a lot about yourself as a fighter. Uh, you're tired. Yeah. Terrence looks a little wobbly right now. Yeah. You're tired. You're gassing a little bit. This is it's a lonely place when you're tired in that cage, man. Yeah, yeah Terrence is not moving. Is that he slipped on the eye on the on the cage now from the ice that Luke's he's corner got, dropped. Yeah, if I'm Luke, he's got to Luke has got to start putting pressure on Jones right now. He needs combinations. Yeah, those he's down combinations instead of just looking. For that one punch that's going to put him out, he needs to throw two or three, pepper him up a little bit, and then land the power shot. Terrence with two overhand rights back to back. It seems that both fighters are not really doing a whole lot of combinations right at this moment. Luke Choking has got to put a little pressure on Jones. Does Terrence have the energy for a takedown? Yes, he does. Yes. <laughs> the single leg now. He hasn't completely, he's, he's got him down, but he doesn't have him in the dominant position just yet. He's got this foot trap so that Luke can't stand back up. They say he's going to drive him out. Wrist control would be nice here for, for uh, Terrence. Terrence now into mount. You know, Terrence Jones has shown a lot of composure in this fight. You know, dealing with a lot of length and, um, you know, a lot of the offensive jujitsu that he's experienced. He's, uh, he's, he's shown Ter a lot of composure, man. Terrence he's, now he's trying to take the back, but is being able to be shrugged off by Luke. Terrence needs to worry about the position instead of the submission at this point. Yes. This late in the fight, they're slippery. There's blood everywhere. It's going to be really hard to like sync up chokes and arm bars and whatnot right now. Both fighters now back to their feet. Terrence a little Jones bit wobbly. is gasping. He is taking deep, deep breaths. A lot of guts from both fighters at this point in this fight. I got a lot of respect for both these guys. His nose has to be mangled at this point. Minute left in and, round number three and, of this and, title and, fight. And Jones still stays. You know, right, right, you know, he, he's, he's staying right up on him in his mid-range, which is the most surprising thing. You know, he's not running from him. He's not ducking. He's not trying to kill time. He's staying in the mid-range and, and committing to the Taking exchange. several of Luke's best shots and still walking in. He's doing a really good job at trying to keep him down, trapping his ankle, trap getting, he's got wrist control. Yeah, you know, and the, the toughness of Luke choking as well. I mean, let's yeah. let's, let's not that go, you know, to the wayside. But choking has been wearing Terrence on his back or on top of him most of the time. Now Terrence looking now to sink in an underhook or two to try to keep, completely finish taking the back severely of Luke choking. You know, Terrence Jones finishing on top again. Ten, less than 10 seconds to go in this round. Both fighters going to finish it out to the end. We're going to wow. go to the judges' yep. scorecard for this. How do you guys see this one going? I, I think Terrence Jones uh, definitely won two rounds. I, I think I agree with you on this, that both of these fighters did their, uh, you know, Terrence had to stay or stayed more active and also was in the dominant yeah. position. Longer. Luke, Luke Chokin showed an incredible amount of intestinal fortitude. And Absolutely. the way he dealt with his adversity, the positioning. Um, where where I, I think he had issues was his gas tank at the end. Like, you know how you make a diamond? You create pressure. And that third round, um, it had he put a lot more pressure. I think pressure. both of these fighters learned a ton. Chris, what would you think? That, that was a very close fight, very entertaining fight. I heard what a lot of you guys you guys were saying there. But, you know, that, that was that was a fantastic fight. That's exactly what we want here because no matter what, win, lose, or draw, you're going to learn a lot from that fight. You know, both of these guys finding out they were fighting each other yesterday for this fight to happen after that and the level that it was and as exciting as it was, this is purely a treat. I appreciate both these guys doing that. You know, it, it's kind of the thing. I, I think Choking may have come out on the uh, the losing end of this, but it's one of those things you look at the matchmaker in the eyes and go, okay, well, that's not what I trained for, but I need that one more time. Let's roll this one back yes. because there, were, there was no give. No, <laughs> there was if, no give if, on either if, of these if guys. If I'm choking, I'm doing everything I can to get a rematch well, as soon as possible. And choking had a couple, like, legit almost submissions that were, well, I can't believe they didn't get that round. triangle. Yeah, that triangle round. was yeah, very close. As tight as you could get it, really. Absolutely. Absolutely.
Yeah, at the end of that second round, I mean, if there had been another minute on that clock, he, he may have gotten it. But and, and to Jones's credit, he toughed it out well, because that was a very uncomfortable position. Absolutely. Well, let's go now to our ring announcer, Mr. Lance Green, to find out what the judges have to say. Our opinion don't count. The <laughs> judges do, so let's see what their opinion is on this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three grueling rounds, the judges have scored this. 28-29, 27-30, 28-29. Your winner by unanimous decision, Terrence Juice Juice! You know what? You had all three scorecards, you know? <laughs> yes. you, you had a, an array of scores there, but you know, you, you, you can't disagree with the decision and, and to Luke's credit man the he, guy's a warrior he, he he really toughed it out look at Jones well, he, he showed a lot of slickness on the ground look at Eric too. Anders I'm here with your winner Terrence awesome fight I think me and the fans we all want to know how close was that triangle in that second round oh that baby was tight but I'm a dog so I don't matter yeah, that's right man you showed a lot of warrior spirit a lot of uh, heart in this fight how good does it feel to get this victory especially with getting your opponent last night it good but I'm ready to get out of the cave. Let me go. He's gone, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. One more time.